Optimizing skeletal or rigged meshes with Instalod is easy and painless, and works in the same way as optimizing any other geometry or mesh. So in the scene, we have loaded a character built from a single object with a rather complex rig. So I'm going to turn on x-ray mode so that we can see the skeleton through our mesh. And if I move these bones, you can see that our, our mesh moves with them. Everything is rigged and skinned all the way down to the fingertips here. So let's optimize this mesh down to 25% of its original. And its original triangle count is currently 43,000. So if I select this mesh and I come over to percent triangles, it's already typed in here as 25%. So let's hit optimize selected meshes. And very quickly, Instalod will optimize this character. And I'm going to group this and move it off to the side. Now what you'll see is that everything is skinned and rigged all the way down to the fingertips. So any movement that I do on the original mesh we can see on the optimized version, which is really nice that you can see your meshes, uh, optimized meshes rigged and skinned as you move them and test them out. And that's another good point is that the rig did not get copied. So we still have one original rig, but we have our optimized mesh. And again, our optimized mesh is now 25% of the original mesh, so 10,000 triangles. So 75% of this mesh, around 30,000 triangles, has been removed. And everything still looks good and is, is skinned correctly. So let's take a look at a few other options that we can do to optimize this character down further. So typically when optimizing characters, you wouldn't want the fingers or smaller bones um, or even up to the forearm to animate when you're farther away from, from the character on screen. So we can do those types of optimizations with Instalog. And one of the ways to do that is by using one of the methods under skeleton optimization. We're going to use maximum bone depth here. So I'm going to type in number five here and then scroll down and go to optimize selected meshes. What this is going to do is it's going to optimize out those lower bones down on the hierarchy, such as the fingers and even the forearm here. So let's group this mesh and move it off to the side so we can see both side by side now. Now if I move the arm, we can see that everything is still working. But if I go down to the forearm, we've removed that from the, from the optimized version of the hand and all the way down to the fingers. So it's very possible to optimize our rigs down the further away that they go for this mesh. That way, the smaller things that would not be noticeable aren't rigged and costing us uh, performance. So one of the other things we could do as well is we could type in individual joint names. So I could type in head and then vertical bar. And then I could type in finger underscore dot star. And that will uh, preserve anything with the name head or finger in the name of the joints. So that's another great way to control the optimization of your skeletal meshes. However, with the previous method, that works great on uh, consistent models like humanoids and, and rigs that are the same throughout, that we can really control what's going on. But maybe you're trying to rig a, a horse or something a lot differently, and we want to create profiles uh, with Instalod that we can automatically optimize these rigs down no matter what type of rig they are. So let's go ahead and delete this and this and get back to our original here. And so we can do that with leaf bone weld distance. So this is going to merge bones that are close together and, and optimize those down. So let's do that. So for the leaf bone weld distance, I'm going to type in 10. Go ahead and select the mesh and optimize it. And what this should do is optimize the smaller bones down at the end here, such as the fingers that are really close together. So group this and move it off to the side. And now if I move the forearm, we can see that that still moves. But if we come down to the thumb, this doesn't move. And also our lower fingers don't move. So the very smaller ones down here that have a lot of bones close together are now being ignored. But these ones that are still spaced out are still being used from a distance. And let's say you can see with the toe, we can still animate this. And from some of these uh, other features here, using the leaf bone, these are still animated. But let's try and get rid of those as well. So I'm going to select the mesh. And for the leaf bone, I'm going to type in 25 and optimize selected meshes. So again, very quickly, we're done here with this different optimization. And I can group this and move it off to the side. And now what you'll see 
is that our forearm still moves, but the other things that I just pointed out, like the uh, extra armor and the shoulder pads don't animate, and even the toe down here doesn't animate. So we can optimize this further down and set up multiple profiles uh, for our rigs, and that are very custom. So if you're animating a horse or a robot or a humanoid, we have profiles that can automatically set up and optimize these rigs very nicely for you. So another method of optimization for game engines such as Unity would be to max uh, to use the influence per vertices so for the bones. So something like two to four, and we can we can set that up. That way we optimize down so the bones are only influencing a certain amount of vertices, which will be very performant in the game engine. So we have a max per vertex, and we also have a minimum influence threshold, so it's like like 0 0.01 or something like this. And this is great for uh, removing bone influences that could not be seen again from further away. So the last thing to do is to show you that with all of this setup with these leaf bone distances and all the other optimizations that we've just shown you, that's great for going one by one on these meshes, but always remember that you're able to set up profiles. So if I wanted the leaf bone uh, weld distance 25 profile with a percent triangles of 25, we can very easily right click on optimize selected meshes and save as batch profile. And I could set up skeleton underscore lot one. And now, and if I go over to the right, the top here, and we look at batch, now we have a way to batch uh, operate on our skeletal meshes for lot one, which would be 25%, and also uh, the leaf bones down to 25 uh, for the weld distance. And we can also uh, right click and do export as interlot command profile. And what this will do is we can save out a, a profile for the skeleton, and then we can use command uh, launchers and optimize entire folders of skeletal meshes based on these profiles that we've set up. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at optimizing skeletal meshes, and you can see it as a possible workflow in your productions.